All right, how's it going everybody? Today I'm gonna go over three different methods for folding a bandsaw blade because this is something a lot of woodworkers still struggle with. I'm gonna go over a beginner, an intermediate, and an expert option. For those of you who may already know how to fold a bandsaw blade, I'm gonna give you a couple of different options. First of all, if you're gonna be practicing this, the best thing to do is to go out and get yourself something like a V-belt or use the belt off of your pants if you wanna do that because that's a lot less likely to uh, shred your arms. And yes, I have hurt myself doing this in the past, so just, just be careful, okay? So we're gonna start with the beginner method. Go ahead and put the bandsaw blade on the ground, just like this. We're gonna put one foot on here, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna spin this top section 360. Halfway through, you're gonna notice a loop on the front and on the back, and your loop goes right in the middle. It really is as simple as that. We're gonna take this in 360. There's one loop, there's the other. And it's really just as simple as that. Now, the beginner way of unfolding is Probably a little bit simpler, actually. All right, now we are on the intermediate step. Once again, we're gonna be facing the teeth away from us. We're gonna put our foot on the blade. However, this time, as we put our foot on the blade, it's going to naturally want to flip up. Make sure to let that happen. Don't hold the blade on the ground. You could hurt the blade, uh, and it's, it's just not gonna work well for you. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take the two sides and we're gonna make a bit of a horseshoe. From my perspective, I'm looking at a horseshoe and we're gonna take one loop and we're gonna put it inside the other. Doesn't matter which one is which. And once again, it naturally wants to fold for you. Now the intermediate way of unfolding it is to let down one side. You can see it makes this X. Go ahead and grab that X and slowly let out your other side and it will naturally want to unfold. Very straightforward. Now the last way I wanna do this is a little bit different. We're gonna put this down on the ground. The teeth are gonna be facing down. And we're gonna pull it up in the air. Now you can do this off of your body if you'd like. I would suggest hooking it under your belt buckle. And then all we're gonna do is the same thing we did a second ago when we were pushing against the ground and pushing against our foot and then we did the cross. All we're, we're gonna do that exact same thing but this time we're gonna use inertia and it's a lot quicker to fold up your bandsaw blade just like that. All right, now that we're here, I'm gonna show you one cool little trick as a bonus. We're doing something called a double coil, and basically all we're doing is we're gonna make two loops that are smaller than one big loop, and we're gonna 360 this. And when you do that, you wanna make sure that, the, that you end up with two loops on one side and one loop on the other. It doesn't matter which one is which, but we're just gonna 360 it like we did with the beginner method. and you wanna dress it nice and clean. And that is a five coil bandsaw. Generally, you don't wanna hang your blades like this because they have, they have a really bad uh, tendency to bear trap on you, so you don't want that. Uh, but if you're ever going to try and ship a blade in a box, it's a, lot more, uh, it's a lot more economical to do it this way. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Catch you all next time.